Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is the start of a reading vlog with spoilers. And I believe that you probably won't see this until January. So I'm sorry that I'm filming this like in December and like all my Christmas decorations are up because you're gonna be watching this and you're gonna be like, what is this girl? Like, what is her problem? Anyway, so I'm going to be reading How to Walk Away by Katherine Center. I am really, really excited. I've heard amazing things about this book and I believe that it is about a lady that deals with her like worst day of her life and the best day of her life all in one day. So I think she gets into an airplane accident but also her like fiance had proposed to her all on the same day. So I hear it's very like emotional, very hard hitting and I've never actually read anything by this author. So I'm really excited to see how this is so if you are like new to my whole like sorry let me move you if you're new to um me like doing these reading vlogs i just do this like a regular reading vlog but i do incorporate spoilers in this because i just really like to do that i like to discuss these things with you guys and so if you haven't read this book yet then you might want to click out of this video because there's probably going to be spoilers throughout the whole thing now of course if you have read this book i hope that you stay tuned for the whole entire video and i hope that you start a conversation down below in the comments because i would love to talk with you guys about this book so i think this book isn't too long that's right on the cusp of 300 pages so i'm going to start start reading a little bit tonight. It's actually December 2nd, I think, and it's like 11.15. So I think I'm gonna read for a little bit, maybe not quite an hour. I don't know, should I get ready for bed first? I feel like I should actually get ready for bed and then go sit in bed and read. So I think I might do that just in case I get tired and then I'm already in bed and I can just sleep. So I'm gonna go throw on some pajamas and take my makeup off and then I'm really hoping to get into some of this book and I will update you guys when I have my first reading update. and number one i have like so much anxiety reading this book at the moment just because i know something bad is going to happen and so i was drawn in like right away immediately on page one i love that i feel like i'm going to like really like this book already it's weird how like sometimes you can just like figure that out by like the first couple pages but this guy chip that like is like her boyfriend and he's asking her to marry her I don't really like him that much like she says that he's like her dream guy and like he's just like perfect and everything but number one he made her get in this airplane even though she doesn't like flying and i feel like somebody wouldn't do that to you like my husband wouldn't do that to me if he knew that i dislike something he wouldn't force me to do it i feel like like he gave her his grandmother's ring and like asked if she liked it and like she said yes but like she, like in her head she was like it's not my style i just feel like she's like lying to him i don't know i feel like they don't actually know each other and then she even said like it was about 20 minutes back to the airfield and we filled those minutes by arguing adorably about the wedding to me that's not like i don't know i just don't feel like this relationship is a good relationship so far and i don't know i don't know if it's going to like explain that and like maybe it's not going to be a good relationship but she just thinks it is at the moment or if that's just how it's being portrayed and like we're just is this what people think a good relationship is because this isn't how like my husband and my relationship is like i mean i obviously like we're just like every other couple like we have fights and stuff but I don't know, I just don't feel like he's very supportive of her. And then there was another thing in here where like she is making like 50,000 more dollars than him and like her mom told her not to tell him that. And so I don't know, there's just like not a lot of good communication in my opinion. I am loving this book so, so much. I'm on page 43 at the moment it's like chapter five and spoilers can't believe that chip crashed the plane like that makes me 
so incredibly angry and like i feel so so bad like for what is her name actually margaret is her name like oh my gosh i cannot believe that this is like way worse than she thought it was like her mom is talking about how like she can't even look at her because the burns are like so bad on her face and then like her back had hurt from the whole like spinal thing and like i cannot believe on this page so like chip hasn't even like really been in there to see her like he is not being supportive he is like getting drunk i guess because he like feels like bad for himself for crashing the plane and like making her get on there but like he just came in now and this is like weeks after this and it was like he's drunk and he was he said you used to be so beautiful and now you look like a pizza and he laughed and then he said but i just kissed you anyway because you are the love of my life and it's like i cannot believe that he said that to her like i hate this guy so much and i feel so terrible for this girl like i feel so bad for margaret and like i'm like almost on the verge of tears like reading this book i am just like loving it so so much it is so emotional i'm just like i'm loving it and just like hating not hating the book but like just like so mad at like the whole situation that she's in like it ugh. It like really makes me upset that like people actually like go through this stuff. Oh my gosh, I'm like trying not to cry, but like people that don't deserve this kind of stuff like go through this kind of stuff and it just like, it makes me like really, really upset. page 45 like chip is like literally losing his mind and he's like you're like something out of a horror movie because of me like i did that and you know she's saying like it's fine it's an accident and then he goes like i broke your back you understand that right they told you you didn't want to go up in that plane with me it was the last thing on earth you wanted to do but i effing forced you you trusted me and now because of me you will never ever walk again and like i didn't know that but she's not gonna be able to walk again and her face is so burnt that like it, he said that it looks like silly putty like she's just gonna like look like that for the rest of her life like her whole life is ruined what you doing reading an amazing book no this book it's a book this girl is this has a fear of flying no, yeah. but she's about to like she just got engaged to this pilot mm -hmm. and he made her go on this airplane so that way he could propose. Tell me. Well, then he crashed. Oh, that's cool. And she got burned so bad that like her face is gonna be ruined forever and she's paralyzed now. Does he still love her? No. Tell Hello guys, it's me again. So I started reading this a little while ago, um, but I only have 80 more pages left before I finish it. And there for a while, I just really didn't know exactly how I felt about it anymore. Um, I started getting pretty bored with the story. It wasn't as emotional as it was in the beginning. And now I'm starting to get some actual thoughts of why I am not enjoying it as much. So, as you know, the physical therapist Ian, it's really weird. Like he changed, like his personality changed within like a 24 hour span of time. And I really just don't understand that because he was so like brooding and he didn't talk. And then all of a sudden he's like taking her to the swimming pool and he's smiling and laughing. Like what is all that about? That doesn't seem very realistic to me. And then we're at the cabin and all of a sudden like they just start kissing. And it's like, where has this romance came from? And then he like, you know, kind of blows up and is like, oh, never mind, I can't do this because I could lose my license, but also like, you're just not in a good place. But it's like, how did you not think about this beforehand? And why would you, like, they were like, oh, I love your ukulele and I like, I love this about you and blah, blah, blah. And it was their first kiss. And it's like, what? I just don't get it. I just, 
I just don't. And then like now we're like flip-flopping again. It was like then he didn't talk to her anymore and now he's back to like wanting to kiss her again. So it's just, I don't know really don't like that part so it's just kind of so right now so we have 80 pages left um i'm gonna try and finish it like tonight like right now um and so i will update you guys on everything that happens and all my thoughts and feelings as soon as i finish this book this girl just asked her physical therapist to marry her for a green card number one i can't believe that he was just so stupid to like kiss her in front of a hundred people and get caught by his boss and then his boss fired him right away because his boss is an asshole and then he was gonna get deported because he's from scotland or something like that and now she wants to marry him so that he can stay for a green card. I feel like there is no real love or passion in this romance. Like it feels so insta-lovey to me, but it doesn't even feel like love. It's really, really weird. I just, I don't get it. Also, I'm not buying the whole how the mom had an affair with a Turkish guy, but then thought that like they were never gonna find out. Like the guy's Turkish. How could the, like how? How is, does Kit not look Turkish? I just don't get that part either. Okay guys, I have finished this book. What is my rating? I don't even know. It's going to be mm, probably like a two and a half. Let's talk about the pros and the cons of this book. How to Walk Away was about this girl, I think her name was Margaret, I said. Margaret, who had a fear of flying and on like, one day of her life, she was getting engaged to her boyfriend, which I absolutely hated in the book. And he said like, oh, you need to get on this airplane because he was like a pilot, but he didn't have his license yet. Um, so they were like doing it behind the scenes. And she kept saying like, no, I don't want to get on this airplane. I just don't. Um, she was also waiting for like a callback because she thought she was getting this like amazing job that she really wanted and he like forced her to like get on this plane which like already had left a bad taste in my mouth so they get on the plane end up crashing he ends up walking away completely fine well i forgot to say that like he proposed to her on the plane so proposed her on the plane crashed yeah he walks away she ends up being in the hospital having like burns and scars all over her body like she doesn't look pretty anymore and she also can't walk so she's paralyzed for her whole life he cries boo-hoo he gets drunk he says mean things to her he treats her like shit of course he ends up not wanting to marry her after that and she has to realize that you know that's okay and then her sister she hasn't seen in like years comes back and meets up with her there are a couple like family secrets that come out one of them being that her sister went away four years ago or however many years ago because she found out that her mom had an affair with a turkish guy and that's where the sister came from so like the sister kit found out that her dad wasn't her dad but instead she had a turkish dad how you didn't know that i don't know um and yeah so she had left and didn't like tell anybody about it and just left for four years and then came back and told Margaret this bad news, I guess, while she also has the bad news. So yeah, then we have this uh, really mean brooding, well, I guess he's not like super mean, but he's just like rude and brooding and doesn't talk, physical therapist that of course you know there's gonna be a romance with it because why can't romance stay out of books that don't need them? And so then we have this romance starting and then all of a sudden Ian like, switches a 180 and like plays with margaret in the pool and like stuff like that they fall in love in two seconds have a kiss the kiss gets broadcasted to like the whole entire well there's like a hundred people the boss is there who already hates ian fires ian then ian is like shit i am from scotland and i'm gonna get departed now because i don't have a job here and i'm gonna lose my physical therapist license so margaret's like hey i've only known you for like two seconds so let's get married it's not illegal or anything to get married just for a green card so then they decide no let's not do that and ian's like you know what i actually can't be with you i'm going to see ya by 
and he leaves. And then a year later, uh, Margaret's original like fiance is getting married to somebody else and everybody in her family is invited except for her, but they're all like, no, you have to come. So then she goes along with them like in her wheelchair and it's really, really awkward and really weird. And then just so happens that, you know, Prince Charming Ian, the physical therapist shows up, sweeps her off her feet and then it's 10 years later and everything's fine and dandy and she had twins and they have a summer camp now. So there's the book in a nutshell. Hope you enjoy the rest of my thoughts. I actually really enjoyed like the first one third of this book where it was su super emotional. We learned about like the crash, how her, you know, fiance was an asshole. I saw that coming from like a mile away. I, I just liked the initial like part because I thought that this was going to be an emotional story. What I didn't like is that I felt that the second, like the middle was pretty boring. Nothing was really happening. The last part, like the last third of it, I really dislike that this turned into a quick insta-love romance. I feel like if you wanted to make this into a romance, then you should have taken more time in the middle of this book to build up the chemistry of that romance. Like it was so weird to me that Ian was this like brooding guy that like didn't talk to her, didn't smile. And then like two chapters later, that she was like confessing her love for him and telling him to marry her so that way he could get a green card and he was like losing his job just so he could kiss her but then oh he actually didn't have feelings for her and then left and waited a whole year to come back like who does that that is so unrealistic like did not like that it was so insta lovey i didn't feel like there was any chemistry between her and ian and then her going to like the wedding of her ex fiance like who would even in their right mind think that that's a thing like why would you ever do that i would never think of going to my ex fiance's wedding especially if i wasn't invited like even if i was invited i would not go so that was so weird and then it was so it was way too perfect like ian would have never showed up to that that doesn't even make sense like and he waited a year for her that totally was just not believable whatsoever and then it just like ends there and fast forwards to 10 years later and everything's perfect like she had twins kitty has three kids everything's going great and dandy they started the summer camp sure like they have their like i forget exactly what it said but it was like oh yeah like we still have our struggles but like everything is going great i feel like this book the message was so topsy-turvy that it was sending like if it was supposed to be the best day and the worst day of her life and we were supposed to read about the hardships of her being like paralyzed then i feel like that should have been the story throughout the whole thing and I didn't need to see a 10 years fast forward. You know what I mean? Like I don't want the story to be wrapped up in a pretty little bow, especially since like so much of the romance just like, like I could just see the stuff coming because it was so cliche. And I was like, oh my gosh, if this is like, please don't let this happen. Like, is this going to happen? And then it happened. Like there was nothing original. There was nothing shocking. And oh my gosh, like how was her dad Turkish and no one knew? Like, how can you not know that stuff? I just don't understand. It just, I don't know. This book didn't make sense to me. So it's going to be like a, two, two and a half, I think. I really have to sit and think about it and I was doing it as a buddy read in my book club. So we're waiting a couple days. Not everyone is finished yet. And there's some like online discussion questions. So I'm gonna post those in the chat and you know, we're gonna all like discuss it and stuff. And then I think I'm gonna do my review on Goodreads after that. And so if I change any of my thoughts and feelings, I can always like update you guys again on here before I like post this because this isn't, isn't going live until like January. But for now, that's like how my rating is. Like, it's just, I don't know. Like I was going to recommend this book to so many people just by like the beginning part of it. Then the more I read it, I just, I would not recommend this book. Like I actually did not like this. And this makes me not want to read more Catherine Center. Like no offense to the author, but I just, 
I already wasn't going to read Things You Save in a Fire because the synopsis just didn't do it for me. And so now having read this one, I just don't think I would pick up Things You Save in a Fire. I know that she has a new book coming out in 2020, but I don't remember what the synopsis is, so I would have to see. But I definitely wouldn't like buy it. I would probably just borrow it from my library. Definitely let me know down in the comments, like if you read this book and what your thoughts were, even if you loved it, I would love to hear all of the parts that you loved about it. Um, and if you didn't like it, you can tell me all the parts that you didn't like about it again. And I will try and like have a conversation with you guys down in the comments because I'm really interested to see. I know a lot of people did like this book and I, I, I'm interested to see like what exactly drew them in and what you loved about the whole thing like i did love the first part of it um i just didn't love the second part so i'm really interested to see if you guys loved the whole thing or all of your thoughts you know i'm going to end this video here so thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys soon in another video bye everyone mm -hmm.